I wanted to ride across the whole of Japan in a single day, on the famed bullet train. I began in Aomori, in the north of Honshu. The Shinkansen leaves from Shin Aomori Station. I located my train, and then entered my ticket, and head upstairs to the platform. Japan is hyper-organized. They know in advance exactly where the train will stop, and so passengers line up according to their car. The train boards within minutes. It's like something out of a science fiction movie, and suddenly you're accelerating. The bullet train travels at speeds up to 300 kilometers an hour. I watched the rice paddies flash by, and within four hours, we had already reached Tokyo. One half of Japan in a single morning. In Tokyo, I switched trains, boarded my second Shinkansen for the day, then we were off again, speeding across Yokohama. I watched the city as I ate my eel bento box lunch, and then there it was, the icon of Japan, Mount Fuji. It was beautiful, clear day, I could see the top, no snow in summer, and we were speeding by so quickly. Within two hours, we had reached Osaka, Japan's second largest city. Every time we passed another Shinkansen train, it was strange. There was an optical illusion that the other train was almost going backwards. Before long, it was dinner time, another bento box. This time I had sushi. They actually have a little map that shows you what kind of sushi is in there. It's rolled in leaves. It's delicious. I switched to my third and final bullet train in Kyushu and rode the last one and a half hours, the newest part of the line, watching the sunset. Japan is actually a very big country, but the bullet train makes it small. I traveled 1200 miles across Japan in a single day. I saw so much of the country, but I stepped off in Kagoshima, ready to backtrack slowly.